Hey guys, I'm here to film just a really quick uh, get ready with me video. This is a makeup look that I use almost every day to go to work. I use it to go run errands. It's just kind of my go-to look. I like to focus on skin. So I do foundation, concealer on an everyday basis, my skincare, and then I go ahead with like, you know, some bronzer and blush and highlighter. That's about it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get right into the video. If you guys have not already, please subscribe for more videos, like my video, and also give me a follow over on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching, and let's get into the video. Alright guys, the first thing I'm going to do is actually use a wipe, and these are the Sephora brand wipes. I'm going to use this just to kind of go over my skin before I put my makeup, because I've been up since 6 a.m., kind of like running around, so I'm just going to make sure my skin is clean. So I just put a little bit of the Olay Hemorrhoids and Banana Bright Eye Cream um, on and I've been really loving this and I bought this actually because I saw so many people raving about it on Instagram and YouTube. So it's one of those like YouTube made me do it um, purchases but it's really really good. It really feels hydrating and it brightens my under eyes. I use this in the daytime underneath my makeup and it works really, really well. Now I'm going to moisturize my face with the Belief um, the True Cream. Um, this is the moisturizing balm. Just put a little bit because a little bit of this goes a very long way. Belief is a Korean skincare brand that you can find at Sephora. I don't know where else they sell it, but I really like their moisturizer for daytime. I'm gonna put a little bit of lip balm on as well. I'm gonna do the Lippy Balm by Drunk Elephant. I love this stuff and I got this at Sephora as well. Now I'm going to go ahead and do primer my skin and I'm going to use the Ordinary High Appearance Silicone Primer. This is a really, really good primer. You need a little bit, so it goes a long way. It's a silicone based primer, but it doesn't feel like it clogs my pores or anything like that. I really, really um, like this primer and I'm almost done so I need to purchase a new one and I rarely purchase the same primer um, more than one time because I like to try different primers but this one is so so good so I will be purchasing it and it's really inexpensive and um, affordable this makes the makeup just kind of smooth out really nicely. Um, the next thing I'm really loving is the Dior uh, Face and Body Foundation. And I recently got this one, maybe not recently, I got it about a month ago at um, Sephora. And I really like it because it's super lightweight, but it gives a beautiful coverage. And sorry if I'm like looking everywhere. I just have a mirror here and then on my screen over here, but I just used a really huge synthetic brush and I kind of just buff it on. It's really, really lightweight, but like I said, it covers any imperfections and evens you out. You don't need a lot, but you can definitely build it up to get more coverage. I just use a little pea-sized amount. And I'm going to go ahead and apply my eyebrow pencil. I use the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Lift. Um, it's one of those like triangular pencils and this is in the darkest color. It's called Naomi. It's almost a black. I like to use a really dark eyebrow pencil because my hair is black. Um, but this one is great because it's not black, like super black, but it's really, really dark. So it gives me the definition that I like. And I just kind of go with the shape of my eyebrows. And I add a little bit of thickness on the top of my brow.
Sorry, I feel like every time I film, it's super loud. Um, hopefully that will be resolved soon, as I will be moving and we'll have a... We'll try to set up like a filming sort of space. Love this pencil. It's a wax face pencil, so it really stays on. It's not like it's a really hard formula. It's not really soft and smushy, so it's it's hard to get it wrong really. But this is it's really really good. And so after I do that, I'm gonna go in with my Born This Way concealer by Too Faced. And I'm going to take a, just a little um, synthetic brush and I'm going to go ahead and carve out my brows just a little bit. I'm using a color that is a little lighter than my skin tone. I don't like it to be too bright under my eyebrows. So I'm using something just a little lighter than my skin tone. And then I'm going to take the same concealer and go under my eyes. I like a lot of concealers. I have very dark and pressed I'm just going to go ahead and blend that in with my beauty blender. This is kind of a you know, every day face I do, whether it's for work or um, just running errands, going out for the day. This is like an easy, my go-to sort of look. Pretty simple when it comes to makeup. I just really like to focus on my skin and brightening my under eyes, and then I am good to go. On top of that, we go in with something a little bit brighter. So I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty um, concealer, and I'm going to put that kind of in the hollows of my eyes here, just to give it a little extra brightness. I really love this concealer. I feel like it's. Um, it's a little drying, but I don't mind that. I'm just putting on my chin. I have a brick on my nose to highlight. And then in the center of my forehead. Now, to set my under eyes, I'm going to use. The um, Glow Mercier Translucent Powder. I love this powder. I've used it for years and years and years. This is just kind of a staple to my Holy Grail products that I'll probably always keep in my makeup routine because it really sets my under eyes and, and avoids creasing and throughout the day. It keeps my eyes really, really bright. So um, concealer is done, I'm just kind of um, leaving the powder on there to, to bake. But I'm going to use a little uh, bit of a darker concealer, another Born This Way Too Faced concealer. This one is in the color Mahogany. And I'm going to use this as like my bronzer slash contour shade. And I'm going to take just like a little synthetic um, angle brush.
to use concealer, foundation, um, cream products to bronze and contour with. I just feel like they sit on the skin really well. They look really, really good. And then I always um, go over it, usually with um, a bronzing powder. But I always like to start with a liquid or a cream first. Just going down the sides of my nose with that same um, darker shade of the concealer and then pulling it up into the socket of my eye. Just to give a nice little bit of contour to the nose. And I'm going to go ahead on top of that with um, a bronzer. And this is the MAC. Um, Dark Deep Mineralized Skin Finish. I recently broke one of my favorite bronzers and I haven't been able to replace it. Um, it was, I forget what it was, it was like an old matte powder that was discontinued. I got it on sale but it was a really nice rich deep tone and I haven't been able to find a bronzer that is as dark as I like. I might want to try the, um, the Fenty bronzers. I hear a lot about that. Let me know if you guys use it and love it. So now that I have my bronzer on, I can go in with my face powder. And um, right now I'm using the Laura Mercier um, Smooth Finish Foundation Powder as my However, I used to, this year, used to use this years ago and um, recently bought it again and I really love it. So I'm just going to go ahead and powder. And I like to do my powder after I do bronzer just because I can soften anything that's too harsh and that way everything looks really blended and seamless. I just sweep away the powder underneath my eyes as well. Okay. Now for blush, I'm going to actually use, there's a lot of MAC in here, and I don't use a lot of MAC products, but um, I guess recently I've gotten back into using MAC. This is the Power Pro Longwear Blush in Eternal Sun. It's just a really pretty, um, bronzy toned blush and I like it because it's just if you want like a natural color and you don't want anything too pink or too coral I like to go with something that's a bit more tawny or um, bronze tone like brown a brown blush because on my skin tone I like how that looks especially if I want just to look super natural and not like I'm wearing so much makeup. And then what I do before I put on a highlighter is I actually do um, my setting spray on my face. So I'm going to use a Huda Beauty um, Resting Boss Face Waterproof Setting Spray Ultra Matte Finish. And as that is drying, um, I go ahead and I put on my highlighter. I don't like this, I'm just kind of trying to use it up because this smells like you're spraying perfume on your face. It's really it has a lot of fragrance in it, which I don't like at all, but I'm trying to use it up. So I'm using as a highlighter the Pat McGrath Highlighting Trio. I love this. When you want a pretty highlight, but that is not too in your face. I have not been picking up any other highlighters, to be honest. Okay, so I have that. That's kind of basically it. Um, I normally don't wear eyeshadow. I'm just not an eyeshadow person, especially since I have hooded eyelids. I just don't like how eyeshadow looks on me, but if I am going to wear eyeshadow, I use something that's a little bit of a, like a caramel 
really like warm brown color and I literally just buff it onto my lid. Just a wash of one color. And I only ever wear like eyeliner um, or if I'll, I'll do like a full eyeshadow sort of look. Really if I am going to a special occasion or there's an event at work or something like that. But other than that, either I have nothing on my eyelids as eyeshadow or I'll just use some sort of like natural shade like that. Um, and then what I'm going to do is put on some lipstick and liner and I'm going to be done. This is just super basic, like you just want to look put together and um, awake. Just, you know, throw on your foundation, your concealer. So I'm using the Foxy Brown um, Lip Cheek Lip Liner by Charlotte Tilbury. It's my absolute favorite lip liner. It's the perfect brown. It's not a red brown. It's not too purpley brown. It's like the perfect neutral brown. And these lip liners are waterproof, so I really like them. They stay on. And I always start with a brown lip liner. Um, even if I'm just going to wear lip gloss, I always put it, my brown lip liner on. It's just kind of like a security blanket for me, I guess. And then I'm going to wear the lipstick um, Viva La Bagara from the Hot Lips 2 collection from Charlotte Tilbury. I love this color because it gives color to my face without being too much, you know, too much of a pop of color. I love, love this. Sometimes a nude can look a little washed out on me, so I really like that. So do a little bit more setting spray, and that is the completed sort of look. Really fast, easy. Um, if I'm running in the morning, this takes about 10-15 minutes, um, and then I'm good to go to work or you know go run errands or anything like that. Sometimes I'll even put a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes. I have lash extensions right now, so I don't need to even fuss with doing mascara most days, but if I want a little bit of something extra, I'll put a little bit of mascara on my bottom lash line. This is the Pat McGrath um, Fetishize Mascara. I don't really like it. I bought it as soon as it launched, and then I was just like, huh, this is not better than my Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes. That's my favorite mascara, so I'm just trying to kind of finish this up. All right, guys, so this is the finish look, and this is something that I can just go ahead and run into work uh, with. It's a full face of makeup, but it's not too heavy or anything like that, um, or I can run errands. Today I'm off, so I'm not going to work. I'm just kind of uh, getting some things done um, that I need to get done before I have to go back to work tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to kind of run around the city and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget again to subscribe and give me a like and go ahead and follow me over on Instagram. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!